Hi children, today we are going to learn about more, less and equal. Now, what does it mean? It means that we have to count and we have to circle. We have to circle the less than group. That means, let me give an example first and then we will start doing it. If you look in this first row, you can you would find very cute ducklings, right? For example, in this group, you can see that we have duckling number one and duckling number two. There are only two ducklings. If you look at the right side, here we got how many ducklings? Let's start counting it. Duckling number one, duckling number two, duckling number three, and duckling number four. So this group contains four ducklings. And you must be wondering that why only this group is circled. Because in the question, it says that we have to circle the less than group. That means that we have to circle the group that contains the less objects. For example, this group contains only two ducklings, while this group contains four ducklings. And we would circle the group that contains less number of elements or less number of objects. Now, let's move towards the second row. Here we can see a thread, right? And let's start counting and see that this group contains how many breads. For example, this is bread number one, bread number two, bread number three, bread number four, and bread number five. So this group contains five breads, right? And if you look at this group, group bread number one, bread number two, bread number three, bread number four, five, and six. That means that this group contains six breads, right? Now we have to circle the group that contains less elements, right? And we know that number five is smaller than number six. That means that this group contains less number of elements or less number of breads. So let's start circling this group. Now let's move towards the third row. Here we can see our favorite cupcakes, right? We have cupcakes on the left side and we also have cupcakes on the right side. So let's start counting and see that how many cupcakes each group contain. This is cupcake number one, cupcake number two, and cupcake number three. So this group contains how many cupcakes? Three cupcakes. How many cupcakes? Three cupcakes. Now let's move towards the right side and start counting and see that how many cupcakes are these? This is cupcake number one, cupcake number two, cupcake number three, four, and five. So this group contains how many cupcakes? Five cupcakes, right? And we know that that number three is smaller than number five. That means that this group contains less cupcakes than this one. So let's start circling the group that contains only three cupcakes or less cupcakes than the group on the right side. Now let's move towards the second last row. Here we got some snails on the left side and also on the right side. So let's start counting and see that how many snails each group contain. So this is snail number one, snail, no snail number two, snail number three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this group contains how many snails? Eight snails, right? Now let's move towards right side and see how many snails this group contains. Snail number one, snail number two, three, four, five, six. So this group contains six snails. How many snails? Six snails so right in front of it. Now we have to find out that which group contains less snails. We know that number six is smaller than number eight. So that means that this group contains lesser snails than this one. So let's start circling it. Now let's move towards the last row and see that what we have to do over here. Here we got some shrimps on the left side and also on the right side. So let's start counting and see that which group contains less shrimps. Shrimp number one, shrimp number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this group contains ten shrimps. How many shrimps? Ten shrimps. Now let's move towards right side. Shrimp number one, two, three, four, five, six. So this group contains how many shrimps? Six shrimps, right? And we have to circle the group that contains less shrimps. And we know that that number six is smaller than number 10. So let's start circling the group that contains less shrimps. And these are six in number. I hope it makes sense to all of you. Thank you so much, kiddos.